the soundtrack of downtown Victoria may soon be changing. City Council is considering new guidelines for buskers. The proposed change would require street musicians to move along and to perform at another location once they've completed their set list. Business owners welcome it. They say the new rules would prevent the buskers from turning into broken records playing the same tune over and over and over again. Eric Thompson has the story. You may enjoy this song the first time around, but for some business owners, once is enough. That's why the city of Victoria is considering changing its street entertainer bylaw. You may like a song, but do you want to listen to the song five times? Occasionally we do have buskers that we feel they keep playing the same songs over and over, and for us who are static and have to listen to it, it can get a little tedious. If the new guidelines are adopted by council, buskers would be required to move at least two blocks after performing for two hours, or once they've exhausted their set list, whichever comes first. Katara Soleil is new to busking. She paid $25 for her license yesterday and is hoping to expand her repertoire soon. Right now I only have about like 10, <laughs> but it'll increase as I practice more. I think we want to ensure that the busker component, which is critical in setting that background tenor, is controlled, is regulated in a manner that's going to be positive for our community. Performers on the Lower Causeway, which is controlled by the Harbour Authority, have to pass an audition, but that is not the case elsewhere in the city. If you're out here, you know, half cut, banging on a uh, milk crate, then, you know, chances are maybe you should, uh, should have been auditioned, but at the same point, you know, we all pay for our licenses, so if you pay for a license to uh, come out here and busk, and you're making a beat on some random instrument, you know, more power to you. I think as long as, like, common courtesy and respect is kind of shared amongst people, there really shouldn't be any problem, you know? The cars going by don't help me, but the people walking are the ones that are going to walk in the store. And if they feel uh, light and enlivened by uh, the busking and the, and the, the sidewalk painters and, and the, the car carvers and everybody like that, I think that's I think it's just a really cool thing because it makes our city more exciting. Amendments to Victoria's street entertainer bylaw will be discussed at tomorrow's community development meeting. If they pass, they'll go to council for approval. The process will likely take several months. In Victoria, Eric Thompson, A News.